Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you thought about why you need to prepare for a pandemic? Do you realize how many people are on the move every single day? People traveling from one destination to another often travel through hubs, places you wouldn't have even realized that they had gone. You may have gone on a trip and thought, why did I go to this faraway place that wasn't even on the way? But that's the way transportation is designed these days. People are living closer together, and if you've watched the news, there are hundreds of thousands of refugees on the move who are living in very harsh conditions. They don't have adequate clean water, healthy food, and shelter. When you are living without clean water, healthy food, shelter, it also develops that you are lacking sanitation, and that's when diseases break out and spread. Our society has also continued to overuse antibiotics, which have led to strains of superbugs. Medicines need to keep developing to fight different strains of diseases, and sometimes we can't keep up with these things. We take it for granted that the infrastructure in our world is never going to let us down. But if you consider what would happen if your water stopped running, if your electricity gave out, what if there was a major contamination of your water supply? That could lead to outbreaks of diseases right in your own community. If you've ever had several people in your family become ill at once, you have an idea of what a pandemic could be like. You should certainly think about what you would do if disease did break out in your town, in your community, in your state, worldwide, or even just in your own home. Be prepared for the possibility that a pandemic could strike when we least expect it. Make sure you're stocking up on basic medicines and sanitation supplies and also stay alert to what's going on in the world around you. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.